Hello, good morning, beautiful people. This is Charmaine and welcome to another video. So this video is a reaction video about one of my favorite actors in Korea, So Yeon Ji. So let's start with the issue about Kim Jong Hyun and So Ji Hae dating. It was revealed by Dispatch on April 8th na nagde-date yung dalawa in which they denied it. And then on April 9th, naglabas sila ng statement na si um, Kim Jong-hoon gusto mag-switch ng agency dun sa agency ni uh, So ji Hay. And then after that, I think, galing din sa company niya na ni-reveal yung past behavior niya dun sa drama niya before na Time with Girls' Generation So Hyun. And nakita ko yung video, ang hirap panoorin kasi parang doon sa video makikita na napaka-unprofessional niya. And parang nabastusan lang ako dun sa ginawa niya, dun kay So Hyun. And we all know that Girls' Generation is one of the forefront of Korean uh, entertainment, of Korean music. So, uh, yung drama na yun, 2018, I believe nag-apologize na siya. And then, dito nadamay yung uh, uh, issue ni, ni So Yeji. So, April 12th, nag-reveal yung dispatch ng mga text messages galing kay Soye G preventing Kim jong Yon na mag-boyfriend sila dati. Kim jong Yon na hindi pwede ang skinship, he has to maintain a cool behavior, na parang pinapalabas nila na talagang uh, she was manipulating or controlling the actor's behavior in which um, sabi naman ng gold medalist, yung uh, uh, company ni uh, Soye G na this is just a normal lover's quarrel. So maraming netizens ang um, parang hindi sila naniwala kasi if you're an actor, hindi pwedeng wala kang skinship. Plus yung 2018, that was the time when Soye G filmed Lawyer, Lawless Lawyer with uh, sino ba yun? si Lee Jung Ki na may skinship naman at may mga kissing scenes. And then, on April 13, lumabas yung mga bullying scandal niya. Binubuli daw niya yung classmates niya from before when she was on her elementary, I think, or middle school. Pagkatapos, may mga staff then supporting na parang binubuli din sila or she, they were abused by Soya G. So, dito kasi, I think the bullying uh, scandal was... Uh, matagal na to, I think, um, during her debut pa. Pero, dininay ng agency niya na si Soye G, yung classmate nila na binubuli, na nagbubuli sa kanila. Pero, yung mga classmates niya, nag-reveal ng pictures. Actually, yung pictures na yun, it was really, really different from the Soye G ng debut. Sabi nila, nagpa-plastic surgery daw, or whatever. Pero, ang issue dito, hindi naman yung plastic surgery. The issue here was yung bullying kasi it was proven by their classmates with pictures pa na si Soya G at yung classmate nila was the one who bullied them before. Pero yun na nga, dininay lang ng agency. Uh, April 13 din, naglabas ng photo yung dispatch, yung graduation photos niya na she was really like totally different from before. Kasi akala ng mga K-Nets especially that Soya G was a natural beauty and they found out that she lied about her plastic surgery. So April 14, isa isang nag-drop yung mga, yung mga sponsors ni Soya G, yung mga commercials niya. And then also, hindi siya sumipot doon sa press conference ata nila, doon sa latest movie niya na recalled. And yeah, ang dami talagang netizens ang nagalit. Anyway, this time, si uh, Kim Jong-hyun nag-apologize ulit doon sa staff ng Time Drama. Nag-apologize siya because ang dami niya kasing, ang dami niyang na parang, ang dami na parisyo doon sa, sa ginawa niyang behavior. Kasi I think he dropped in the middle of filming then. 
and uh, walang apology na nanggaling kay Soya G maybe because she was not really directly involved pero sana nag-apologize na din siya and then also um May mga, on April 15, may mga plastic surgeons sa Korea na nagsasabi na parang yung uh, mukha ni Soya G dun sa dati niyang mukha ay hindi match. So sabi nila, it's a different person. Pero, hindi mo na makikita yung video because they took down their video. And then, ang dami din ng mga acquaintances nila sa, niya sa Spain na nagsasabi na parang in Korea daw, nagsishare sila ng bank account. Pero, ayun na nga, uh, I really don't know if this is true or not. Pero, dininay din ng agency ni Soya G. Uh, they say that the allegations were false. Ang sabi kasi ng mga friends niya sa Spain, na parang mabait siya. Pero, pagtalikod, hindi daw siya mabait. And then, parang she extorted money from them. Tapos, sumipad sa Barcelona. And, uh, as we all know, na si Soya G eh, natanggap or she studied journalism in uh, Complutense University of Madrid. Uh, Complutense University of Madrid is parang Ivy League sa kanila. That was one of the oldest university in Madrid. So parang at first I was really impressed because she's a genius. And ang uh, sabi din ng agency niya na hindi daw totoo na nag-aral si Soya G sa Spain and because of the commitment in South Korea hindi siya nakapag-aral. But some of her friends claimed that um, alam daw ng mga Korean sa Madrid na hindi talaga siya nag-aral. So, yung, yung parang it boils down to one thing na parang gusto talaga nilang i-exile or i-cancel na si Soya G because first of all, yung gaslighting issue, meron siyang issue sa yung pagsisinungaling niya na she falsified her um, education in Spain. And then, yun na nga, yung abuse niya sa staff, yung bullying niya sa mga classmate niya, yung extortion and all that. So, ayun, hindi siya naka-attend doon sa press conference nga niya, doon sa recalled na, na movie niya. And then, ang sabi niya kasi before, uh, there's a conflict dun sa schedule kasi filming din yon ng, ano ba yung filming din yon ng drama niya na Island. Pero it was proven na hindi pa pala nag-film yung uh, yung drama na island and tinanggal yata siya or she declined the movie na kasama niya dapat si Kim Nam Gil at si Cha Eun Woo and uh, also uh, aside from the controversies that she is facing right now yung movie niya re na recalled has a very very positive reviews so it was number one with parang an audience of 33,000 advanced reservation on admission it's currently a number 8 box office release of 2021. It has a gross income of 0.33 million as of today. And they really did a good job protecting Soye G. Pero kasi, ayun na nga lang sana. I think, the net, kasi may nabasa ako na gusto daw ng netizen mag-suicide si Soye G, which is very, very fall. I know that Soye G has a lot of international fans like me. But then, ang number one um, source of income niya, I think, is the Korean public. Kasi, I think yung drama, doon talaga nagsisimula. So, who wants to work with her if she has that kind of um, attitude? Anyway, yung gaslighting, it was just a normal lover's quarrel. Yung pagsisinuling niya, a lot of people lie about education. And inamin din ang kampanya na, na parang dun sa Knowing Brothers during her guesting na na pinabahan lang siya. That was the reason why yeah, na parang nakapagbitaw siya, ng, parang nakapagsinungaling siya. But then on her interview in one of the magazines, sinabi niya na why are people so interested about my past? She never dreamt of becoming a journalism and all that. So ano ba talaga yung totoo? So ito sana yung moving in a press conference na param she was expecting to attend and clarify all the issues because she also said that she was gonna state her uh, piece parang ganun pero ayun na nga because of the conflict of schedule that held dun sa drama niya na island eh hindi daw it did not push through she was not able to attend pero hindi naman pala 
hindi naman pala nagsushooting pa. So, it hasn't begun filming. And then, yung mga bullying accusations and issues na dininay lang nila. So, yun na sana, uh, nag, sana mag-apologize siya, even though she's not directly involved. Kasi she really has, she owes all of her fame to the Korean public. Yung gaslighting issue, yung lying, yung bullying accusations niya, yung abuse issue niya doon sa mga staff niya, sa friends niya, pati yung mga acquaintances niya sa Spain. I know marami international fans na nagde-defend kay Soya G. But then, if the Korean public doesn't want her anymore, baka hindi na siya makabalik, baka wala nang recovery doon sa career niya. And then also, uh, sa part ko din, I will, I, 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 as far as I am concerned, Soya G is so pretty. I don't care if she has any plastic surgery. She is one of the most talented actresses in Korea. She, some of the people na kasama niya said that she's fun to be with. And din nga lang, she's a terrible girlfriend kasi hindi lang pala kay Kim Jong Yun na ginawa yung gaslighting. Even Yun Ho, and then she dated Yun Ho's friend. And then there was a rumor that she was dating the Kim So Hyun and she's dating the, the general manager or the CEO of gold medalist na Lee Sarang na pinsan ni Kim So Hyun. So that gaslighting issue, that lying issue, that abuse and bullying issue, extortion issue, sana mag-apologize siya. And wala pa kasi nilalabas na statement ang gold medalist. So to salvage her career, I think she needs to own up to her mistakes. I know a lot of people make mistakes, pero wala naman siguro mamawala kung mag-apologize siya and all that. And also, um, uh, malapit na yung Beksang Awards. She's nominated sa Best Actress category, even like uh, Kim So Hyun, uh, or Jung Se, even, um, ang dami nilang na, no na nominate. Pero, um, hindi ko lang alam. I'm, I'm so glad that she was not cancelled sa Bexang Award kasi uh, it was, she was nominated even before the scandal broke. Sana hindi maka-apekto sa nomination niya. And there is a big chance na manalo siya ng, ng Best Actress. Though, ang lalaki ng kalaban niya. My bet is Kim So Hyun, pero hindi naman malabo na manalo si Soya G. And then, sana hindi maka-apekto yung mga issues niya sa pagkapanalo niya ng Best Actress. And then, if these allegations are really, really, like, proven, and then there's always a second chance na pwede siyang magpa-therapy and all that. Pero yon yung public kasi talaga parang hindi maganda yung response doon sa mga scandals niya. And a lot of, like, commercials already pulled out. Even yung drama, they all pulled out. So I really don't know what kind of... Uh, um, Para cover up ang gagawin nila dito. Pero I really hope that there is a recovery on her career. Kasi hindi lang isa. Ang dami niyang scandals. It was so sad to think na Soya G is not really like an A-list actress pa. Pero she's on uh, she's on her way there. She's on her way there. Uh, parang Jun Ji Hyun level. Um, Song Hye Kyu or Kim Tai Hee level. Sana. And uh, it was too early. And she's very, very underrated before. And then she got noticed. So it's okay to not be okay. Tapos nandito lang yung, yung, yung gaslighting issue, yung lying, yung bullying, yung abuse. Hindi, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya uh, magaan na issue na sana may address. Kasi sayang talaga siya. And then, yeah, I'm just hoping for the best na I know Korea will gonna give her a second chance. In which now mainit pa. Pero parang naglalaho na yung mga negative comments about niya kasi nga yung movie niya blockbuster. And then, I think uh, I just said my piece. And, uh, oh, some of the fans pala, they are comparing, uh, they are comparing Hollywood from Korean entertainment industry. Now, we have to, we have to, uh, parang we really have to realize that Korea is very different from Hollywood. Sa Hollywood, marami kasi mga, yung mga trashy personalities na may mga movies pa rin and all that. 
Pero sa Korea, I really don't think so. Kasi may mga uh, actors and actresses naman na mga walang issues na parang nanalaos din. What more yung may mga scandals. And then this is not a witch hunt. I think the netizens only wants her to apologize, state her peace. Pero parang because of their silence, parang it uh, proves na parang sinasabi na nila totoo yung mga allegations. Gaslighting lying, abuse, bullying, and all that. So, that's it. And uh, yeah, I hope she will come back strong and then she will win the Beksang Best Actress Awards. And if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and click the notification bell for my upcoming videos. Thank you, have a good day, and God bless.